Hello, in the video coming up, I will show you how you can get a trash can, or you might call it a recycle bin, on your Chromebook. So one thing that has been missing from the Chromebook for ages is a recycle bin or a trash can, and that's where you can delete files without worrying about if you need them at a later date that you can get them. At the moment, if you've got files and you delete them from your downloads folder on your Chromebook, that's it, they're gone. So having a recycle bin or a trash can is a really good thing to have. So I'm gonna show you in this video how you get it but first of all i'm going to show you the best way to use it so don't skip through the video because you might miss things you won't get the best out of it so i'll show you how i've used it and there's some quite nifty shortcuts you can use to make it better as well and then i'll show you how you can get a trash can on your chromebook okay so first of all what you do you just go to your file explorer and as you can see, I've got it there. So you wouldn't normally have this on your Chromebook. Now, it's a bit strange that it's got trash. Obviously trash, that's what's been used for years. But the reason why I say it's strange is when I tried it on my Pixelbook Go, it had been, I know it's a new word, and that may change, but I just thought that was quite strange. That on my Pixelbook Go, it had been, and on my Asus CX-5, it's got trash. But as you can see, I've got a trash can here, and it's empty as well. But what it means is now, on here, for example, I've always said, don't get wrong, I do use the downloads folder, but a, a lot of the files on the downloads folder, well, all of them, if they went, I wouldn't be too bothered. I, I have got them backed up, but I know that people do use their downloads folder a lot more now. Certainly with later Chromebooks, with, with bigger storage, it's just natural that we're going to do it. So it'd be previously, like I said, once you delete it, it's gone. But now, if you, you can do it a few ways. So we'll do it on this one here. So you can just drag and drop. Now I'm using the Chromebook trackpad and I find dragging the folks, you've got to hold down the trackpad and pulling it across. It's okay, but then if you let it go, it could move it to another folder and stuff like that. But it's not as easy as if you had a mouse, for example, but you can just drag it like that. And as you can see, that quickly jumped to trash as well because I think it just did a double click on my touchpad. So that's one way you can do it, which is okay. But another way, you could just right click on it. And then here, you can see move to trash. So that's good. Or you might have moved to bin if you're using a Pixel, Pixel Go like I had. So move that to trash like that. And then if you go to trash, you'll notice there's two there. Other ways you can do it as well. For example, you could highlight a few of them. So you could do that by just clicking on one and if you hold down your shift key, you'll see it will do more than that. If you hold down your shift key, it will do it from the first one you've done to the last one you've done like that. Or if you hold, if you click on one, and then if you hold your control key, you should then just be able to select different ones so it's not in order, like that, for example. So you've got three selected there. And again, you could drag and drop them, or you could do the right click and move to recycle bin. But what I like is the shortcut for this. So before, but bear in mind, do not use this shortcut until you've got the trash can installed. And the reason why I say this is this shortcut is the same as deleting files. So if you use this shortcut without having a trash can, you're gonna delete files that you can't get back. So don't come back and blaming me because I've just warned you. Okay, so I've got the trash can installed, so it's fine. Instead of doing the dragging or dropping or the right clicking and doing that, just simply hold down your Alt key and then the backspace key. Some Chromebooks have the word backspace like mine does here, but the backspace key is say if you're typing on your Chromebook and you've, you've typed a letter wrong, it's the key that you press to then delete that. So that's the backspace key. So just press Alt and then backspace whilst I'm free, highlighted like that, and you can see they've gone. And I really like that, that's dead quick. And then if you go in there, there they all are there. And the good thing is as well about that, if once they're in the trash, trash can, you can hold it down and drag it back to downloads. But like I says, I find that a tad fiddly with a touchpad. So the best way you could either right click and do restore from trash, or, and this is why I like the alt tab key, it's the same shortcut. So you could highlight all three and just do alt backspace, and there you go. So that's really cool, I like that. Now there's a few things you need to also see here. You see here it's got 
files in the trash files in the trash for more than 30 days will be automatically deleted and you've got here an empty trash now so if you had loads of files and you wanted to delete them right there and then you could do the empty trash now if you don't your files will stay in the trash can for 30 days and i quite like that some people might think mm, but what, what you've got to realize the issue you can have with the downloads folder it becomes a bit of a dumping ground it really does so the fact that you can now delete files and just simply move them to the trash easiest way or backspace like that the fact you can do that you can actually start tidying up your downloads folder and if you use your chromebook on a daily basis I think you'd know over 30 days whether you deleted something you wanted. Yes, in certain circumstances, that's not going to be the case. But that's something you do need to bear in mind, that it does empty automatically over 30 days. But it's much better than not having a trash can. So I think, I think it, it's really great. I'm just going to take that out of trash for now. And I'll just do Alt Backspace. Um, or you can right click and just do Restore from Trash. And as you can see here, this is why I said do not do this until you've installed the trash alt backspace is exactly the same as the delete shortcut alt backspace so if you did alt backspace that's the same command as delete but when you've got the trash can installed that will just put it into the trash can so that's why i said don't do it until then so that's oh no we don't want to delete that um click on there and then do alt backspace and it will take it back there as you can see it's there so that's all fine and that's great and i will definitely this is just on my youtube account but i, I need to make sure i put this on all the accounts that i use so now what i'm going to do is show you how to use it at the moment it's behind a flag that may change in the future so at the moment you don't have to use it but I don't see any real issue of having it there, really. It's not going to do anything. So to get to your flags, just open up a Chrome browser like that. And in the browse, the address bar at the top, just type in Chrome. So C-H-R-O-M-E colon forward slash forward slash and then flags and then hit return. And you'll see I've got two here at the top. Yours won't be at the top. These are at the top because I've enabled them okay so it's the enable files trash so you could simply type that in or the easiest way is just to use this here you don't have to necessarily use the hash so just put in files hyphen trash and there you go and as you can see i've got it as enabled yours will most likely be it's unlikely it's going to be disabled it will most likely be set to default and at the moment the default is to disable it so change that to enabled it will then ask you to restart your chromebook once you've hit your stop restarted your chromebook you will see that you've now got the option to use a trash can on your chromebook and i think that's an excellent new feature because it's something people have wanted for a long time so i'm really glad that's now available um, i hope you liked this video if you did please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching